Okay, after the successful launch of the Pixel 7, we have already seen the Pixel 7a, we know when it's coming, but now we have the Pixel 8 and the 8 Pro. Wow! The Pixel 8 and 8 Pro CAD renders are thanks to Onlyx. Now, in terms of design, we can see it is keeping the same design language as its predecessor, but there is slight a bit of tweak. By the looks of it, it, and just like last year, we might even see it getting teased by Google on its Mi I.O. event. Yeah, they have no other options. But this will be released around October, just like every single year. The Pixel 8 Pro, if you can't really notice, has much more rounded corners compared to last year's Pixel 7 Pro or even the 6 Pro, because those were almost identical looking. Now that simply means it will have much less boxy appearance and much more curvy like Samsung Galaxy S23 or S23 Plus. The camera island is different too, not by that much, it's still a camera bar, but a slight bit of change is there. This time around, it looks like Google has chose to house all three cameras in the same opening or cutout in the middle camera bar that houses the main camera, the ultra wide angle camera, and the Payscope zoom camera. And one interesting thing is that there is a new sensor underneath the flash. Though at the moment it is unclear what this could be, but maybe it will just be a laser or maybe something like LiDAR? I don't know. The Pixel 8 Pro measures 162.6mm tall, 76.5mm wide, and 8.7mm thick. And it is around 12mm thick at the camera bump if you measure. The display is actually going to be a 6.7 inch display, just like last year's. And we can also see the power and volume buttons on the right and a USB-C port on the speaker at the bottom, while the same tray is still on the left side. The phone is expected to be powered by the Google's Tensor G3 SoC. Now, I will come back to that in a minute, but before that, well, after the 8 Pro's render, we also have the 8's render in the silver color or snow white color. Now, at first glance, the image shows a very little change to the overall design, but if you look closely, then there are a lot of changes. And mostly when you look at from the front of the phone, it looks exactly like a Samsung Galaxy S23 or S23 Plus, isn't it? That's not a bad thing though. Now the Pixel 8 dimension look like this, 150.5mm tall, 70.8mm wide and 8.9mm thick, which is about 5mm shorter and 2.4mm narrower than the Pixel 7. And the upcoming Pixel phone is said to feature a 6.3-inch screen. And the renders also show there is a noticeably slimmer bezel around the screen. And that's the only reason why we have a smaller footprint overall. Anyway, other than that, the Pixel 7 actually doesn't come with a, that kind of camera upgrade that we are getting with the Pixel 8 Pro. The Pixel 8 will still come with the same two rear cameras and a flash and the same kind of camera bar. So there is no such change at the back. And to be honest, I really like the new design. It doesn't have to be boxy all the time. Now, it also has the same kind of power button, USB-C port placement. But what about the Tensor G3 chip or the Tensor Generation 3 chip? Well, according to Business Korea, Samsung is actually ready to mass produce chips using its third generation 4NM process node. Now, as the process node number declines, that simply means the transistor counts are gonna be much higher. And that also means it will be much more powerful as well as much more power efficient. Simple as that. And we also know the Samsung Foundry's processing node isn't as efficient as TSMC, but it's not that bad. TSMC's 4NM yield rate has been about 70 to 80%, which is pretty amazing, if you don't know. While last year, Samsung Foundry is reportedly struggling with about 35%. Um, that's concerning. Now the yield rate has improved to about 60% according to industry insiders. So that's actually really good. The Samsung has also been able to make improvements to its 4NA process node delivering boost in performance as well as energy efficiency. Now coming back to Google, Google isn't a company that is trying to look for the best performance or the performance numbers in the benchmarking side. No, they're not. They're looking for everything related to AI and the Tensor's machine learning capabilities. That's it. Now the Google's Tensor G3 chip that will power the whole 8 series will actually be manufactured by Samsung Foundry using their latest 4NM process node. Anyway, that's probably it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro? Okay, after releasing this free 8K wallpaper pack, here is absolutely stunning 8K wallpaper pack called Lightbeam. On any monitor, computer, tablet or even smartphone, it looks awesome. 
Want to see right away on your devices? Visit my website, link down below. It's for everything tech, where you will find free watch faces and tons of tech news much faster than these videos. So definitely visit it. Until the next one, bye and take care.